Hello and welcome to the Excel Cave. Today we're going to talk about using the sum product in Excel to calculate the weighted average interest rate on a pool of loans. Um, the weighted average by definition is simply just the average of something whether it be rate or term or whatever you're looking at the average of that based on a weighted factor um, which in this example the weight would be the loan balance we're, we're looking at the weighted average interest rate and the weight is the loan balance and it's important because you know loans with a lower balance you would want to have a lower weight and the ones with the larger balance you would want to have a higher weight just because they make up a larger chunk of the total pool so um, normally in just the manual process for calculating that would be just to multiply the balance times the rate for each individual loan sum up this entire product of those two values and then divide by the sum of the loan balance and you can do that and calculate the weighted average rate um, but Excel has the sum product formula which you can do most of that in one single cell and that makes it really nice and just easier on the eyes when you're looking at a spreadsheet so We'll go ahead and do the sum product here. So you can just type sum and then select sum product. And all that the sum product is doing is just taking one range of cells and multiplying it by a parallel range of cells. So in this example, we just our array one is our loan balance array our array 2 is our interest rate array so it's pretty straightforward array 1 is loan balance array 2 is our interest rate select that that just gives us a total product of those two ranges and then to calculate the weighted average rate all we would need to do is <clears throat> sum up our weighted range of cells which is our loan balance and divide that into the sum product so Our weighted average interest rate for this pool of loans is 6.295%. And if you want to check that, I can you can do the manual process like we did earlier. You just multiply these two columns manually and then sum up this total. And you can see we get the same exact value is our sum product over here so if we were to divide it by the sum of our loan balance we should get exactly the same value here and we do and the last thing I wanted to show you was just how this weighted average compares to a simple average just by using the regular average formula in Excel and that would just be selecting just the interest rate range and this is just a simple average which is just Excel summing up the interest rate range and then dividing it by the count which you can see the difference between the weighted average and the simple average is <clears throat> pretty hefty um, almost half a percentage point which when you're talking about a pool of loans 
that is a big difference. So that's the importance of weighted average and how you calculate it in Excel. Thanks for watching, guys.